this, if you don't know anything about Half-Life 2, let me change the category properly because it didn't take. If you don't know anything about Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 is considered by a large amount of the population to be one of the greatest, if not the greatest game ever made. I disagree, but I love it. It's a great game, right? I think, uh, I think it's probably up there, actually, but not the best game of all time. But at the time, maybe. What else was around in 2004? KOTOR? Neverwinter Nights? Uh, fucking... What's it called? Baldur's Gate? That was kind of the stuff I was playing, I guess. <laughs> but, like, this is very good. This... Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2 were the things that got me into, like, first-person games. So I do like them a lot. I have played Half-Life 1 significantly more. Like, I have played... Half-Life 1 easily 15, 16, maybe up to like 20 something times and finished it. Uh, Half-Life 2, I think I've only finished it once. That's, that's how little I will know this. And it was probably when I was about 12. So much less familiar with this. So we'll see how it goes. I'll probably remember more of the opening. I probably played that a couple of times, but I don't remember the mid to late game at all. I've played so much Gary's mod that every element of this game is now comical to me. Barbie magic hairstyler is obviously the best game of all time. I mean, that was... You could do worse. Snake Eater, OH Burnout 3 Takedown. That's a good one. I have no idea what... Oh, are you saying O oh, Burnout 3 Takedown? I have never heard of that. I've played one Burnout game. I don't even know if that's a franchise that still exists. But, uh... I played Burnout Paradise from years later. That was okay. That was a fun time. Snake Eater. Is Snake Eater one of the Metal Gear Solid games? Because I have a real bias against Metal Gear Solid and Kojima in general. I think Kojima is, a, is like a shit auteur film director who realized that he wasn't good enough for movies and so went to video games and seems unbelievably bitter about it. <laughs> I think he's making a Death Stranding movie right now, and the joy on his little face that he's no longer has to deal with fucking games. Half-Life 2 is very much PC gamer-centric. I remember being full console boy at this time and really didn't understand what the fuss was about. That's true. I think other, like, console boys were probably playing Halo at this at this point, right? But see, as this is the, the difference, because I never owned consoles, really, up until... I mean, I never have. The only console I've ever really owned was the Wii and the DS, if you count that. But um, when I look at Halo, I always think it looks a bit shit in comparison to this. <laughs> like, I always thought this looked way nicer and better and more fun. Like, I've never really gotten the Halo thing. Uh, Kojima openly says he wanted to be a film director. Yes, I know. I, I, I think I read that, at least. That's somewhere in the back of my mind. That he wanted to do TV or films. But, I mean, have you fucking read the stories of Kojima games? They are beyond shit. They're so terrible. <laughs> Gameplay, whatever. I'm sure they're lovely. But, like, the the characters, they're, they're so shit. <laughs> but, um, and yet you can tell he is desperate to hang out with Hollywood directors and actors. His best friends like Norman Reedus and Guillermo del Toro and everybody else he can latch on to, basically. Mads Mikkelsen. Um, he does not want to make video games, and he wants to make video games that are as much like movies as possible. I blame him for the Sony thing of making video games that are basically just interactive movies. Jordan Peele as well recently. You know how Last of Us and God of War are basically just like a slightly sad like TV grade drama, but occasionally you press a button to highlight an interactable item? I blame him a little bit for that. <laughs> Let's play Half-Life 2 and stop renting. <laughs> Let's go. Let's play a game I like. <laughs> uh, chapter 1, I suppose. Let's do Chapter 1. And then Snake being based off Escape from New York as well. Yes. I mean, I, even in Metal Gear Solid 2, I believe, because I watched somebody play that for a little bit. I think they he uses the, the name Pliskin, even. Snake Pliskin. Which is just, I mean, that's that's kind of a fun reference. I don't begrudge that. It's just that he very clearly wants to make... It's weird. I think it is kind of interesting to give him his dues. I think it's kind of interesting that he clearly wants to make movies that are, and games, I guess, if he has to, make pieces of media that are 
sort of a combination of heady themes and sort of thoughtful plodding drama but also have the sensibilities of like 80s batshit insane b-movies there's something to that that's kind of fun i don't think he does it very well but there's something to that style that's kind of cool Let's start the new game. You, pr you, are, and we have played Half Life One recently. You'll all remember how it ended. If you don't, we beat the final boss. It was a big alien boy, you know, in the standard of games at the time. Big alien boy. We shot it with rockets. Then we teleported, and a man in a suit with a weird snake voice said, "See you later," and then teleported us off, and it ended. So now it starts, and it's like maybe like twenty something years later, I think. Let me know how the volume is as well once this starts. Oh, I'm getting a rush of nostalgia against my better judgment. <laughs> Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. Is this ASMR? The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So, wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. There we go. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, it is too loud for me, so I'm going to turn it down for myself. But it might be fine for you. <laughs> there we go. Let's turn that down to, like, 24 at the max. Yes, it is ASMR. For a PS1 1996 game, it did talk about some pretty interesting games. I think that might be a thing as well. It's a bit like when, you know, it's, it's like if you watch Citizen Kane now. I'm not comparing Metal Gear Solid to Citizen Kane necessarily. But when you watch Citizen Kane now and you go, eh, I don't really see the fuss. It did a lot of firsts that maybe don't translate now to a modern audience, but have become part of kind of the texture and language of cinema, at least in the West. And I imagine Metal Gear Solid is kind of the same. I wouldn't, like, delete it from history, even if I don't like it. I would say, you know, it probably had a huge impact on the way video games evolved. It's just that looking back as somebody who wasn't there at the time, it looks a bit shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> oh, uh, apparently Half-Life 2 sets around 20 years of the first one, around 2023. There we go. I've never known that. Resume game. We're in Half-Life! Yippee! Hello, boys. I didn't see you get on. I I think the lore is that I just sort of materialized. Oh good, so we're safe now. This is my third transfer this year. No matter how many times I've been relocated, I never get used to it. It's right. dystopian if you can't tell. End of the line. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen, or have been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17. These are kind of cute. I elected to establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been Is there a subtitle option? Just before I go any further, <laughs> keyboard, mouse, audio. Is there subtitles? Probably not. <laughs> also, how is the volume? I'm on normal difficulty, by the way. There are subtitles, yes. If I, I would assume it's in audio. Captioning, there we go. Closed captions, subtitles, dialogue only. That's what we want. Apply. Proud to call City 17 my home. Voice could be louder. Okay, hang on. Let me go to game volume lower raise that up a little bit music a tiny bit because we haven't really experienced that yet and so whether you are here to stay or also where are my subtitles parts <laughs> unknown welcome there we go to city 17 it's safer here 
I quite like these little robot boys. I like them and I want to pet one. Although, I doubt it would be the priority to program a robot with sort of nerves that could feel a pet. But it might appreciate it anyway that I'm trying. Hello. So yeah, it's a horrible fucking dystopia. This is basically all I remember. Horrible dystopia. You'll you'll get some vibes <laughs> as we Welcome. go through it about story. Welcome to City Yeah, 17. I know. You have it's chosen. It's all I have been left. chosen to relocate to one of our finest right, I'm remaining moving, urban centers. Hi, yeah. Not so much of City 17 that I elected to ah! establish my administration <laughs> here in the citadel so thoughtfully Were you the only ones on that train? I've yeah. been proud to call City 17 my home. So, also, this was the big thing in this game. Physics. Welcome oh. To City 17. They didn't like us. <laughs> There's safe. physics. Hi. Oh, Jesus. Fuck off. I don't know how to run yet. My legs are all fucking wobbly because I've just gotten teleported. And it's an Alamau from the first game. I might have one of these as a pet. Uh, they make a constant whirring sound Welcome. like you're going to get chainsawed by a Welcome tiny engine. <laughs> you have chosen or I mean, just been chosen to relocate uh, uh, to one of our finest remaining urban centers. Overwatch stopped our train I in the woods so and took my husband for questioning. They said he'd be on the next train. My administration I'm here. not sure when that in was. The the so they're, they're being nice, though, letting me wait for him. I remember thinking when I played this game, and it was a few years since it came out. I probably played this when I was about 12, so maybe like four years after it came out. I remember thinking that this was photorealistic and games would never look better. I think, and this might be nostalgia talking, I think this game does actually hold up graphically. Maybe not the faces, but it's nice. Looks quite good, especially compared to the first one. Don't have any sort of torch. Oh, yeah. Don't drink the water. They put something in it to, to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. Welcome. They're always departing. Welcome they never to arrive. City 17. And the ones that do arrive, they, you they never leave you. You never see them go. They're always full. No one one of our it's a fairly seven. grim start. <laughs> I thought so much of City I see. They took your suitcase, too. They can't get away with this much longer. My administration here. Am I wearing one of your jumpsuits, or am I just nude? Our I'm working up the nerve to go I've been on. Proud to call City 17 my home. And so, Dr. Breen again? Or... I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. I wouldn't say that too loud. This is his base of operations. It's safer here. You don't have anything like that. If they don't have anything to say and you interact with them, they just kind of go... <laughs> like, I know. <laughs> you poor boys. Wait a minute. Where are you taking it? Me? <laughs> they all look so sad. They look a little bit like that droopy dog Looney Tune, who I don't think gets played very much anymore because of some racist things. <laughs> Hiya! Uh, can I go that way instead? Oh! Can I go this way where the other people are? Oh. <laughs> no, please! I'm weak to electricity. I'm so damp. Hi. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing your on your way to I'd like to go through. I always passionately despised Droopy. I don't think Droopy was one I liked. And I love Looney Tunes. This must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. That's gonna be painted red in a bit, I think. <laughs> Hiya! Hiya! 
Are you armed? Or are you, are you like Irish cops or British cops? Do you have a gun? <laughs> oh, there's so much blood. <laughs> Hi. I'll just sit in the sort of horny dentist chair. About that beer I owed you. It's Barney! Gordon, Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the... If you don't remember, one of the... Uh, one of the 11,000 faceless <laughs> security guards is Barney. <laughs> Scare, I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney. Do you actually beat people? Or is it just like all fake? Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I Get away from the beam! Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about this is the lone the one you didn't meet, Prospect. <laughs> well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. I like they've made you hotter. You looked a bit gormless, now you're a bit hotter. You've got the designer okay, stubble Gordon, and the scare. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Bye. Do I have to close this? stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. And here's where the physics is introduced. <laughs> uh... Do I need to pile anything up? There's a ladder right there. I think all of the faces are Valve employees, really? Did they just scan them in like a... One of those sports games that allows you to import photographs. I had that whole other game you never played. I played Blue Shift. Look, Blue Shift, in terms of Half-Life and Half-Life adjacent media, uh, Blue Shift is kind of the one you don't need to play. <laughs> Blue Shift is not that good. Opposing Forces is good. They, these are DLCs for the first Half-Life. Expansion packs. Sort of standalone stories. Opposing Forces is pretty good. Blue Shift is... Eh. <laughs> ah, my knees. Which is a better stream title stream for a Half-Life 2 stream? Living in a half... Living a Half-Life 2 against the Combine or living a Half-Life 2 in City 17? I have no idea. <laughs> The graffiti in Russian wasn't a clue. <laughs> oh yes, everything's very Eastern European looking. I don't know where we're meant to be. Everything's quite Eastern European themed in this game. Don't crash. This is an old game. Although, to be fair to Valve, I'm not the biggest Valve fan in the world. But, um... Because they've shut down so many studios and games I was looking forward to over the years. But, um... The uh, update system that they have for these games to keep them working on modern systems is fantastic. Can I break through this lock? Why has the Combine seen fit to suppress our reproductive cycle? No comms! No comms for us. Jesus Christ! Don't! I'm allergic to electricity, please! Fuck me! Jesus Christ! I can't really run either! Ah! Christ! Stop! That won't come back to bite me. That's all fine. Oh, I wonder if this works. <laughs> Hiya. We can't be seen talking to each other. We can be friends. Be friends with me. I'm so lonely. If I talk to you out here, we'll both be in trouble. When do I get my nutrient slurry? You've got to be damn hungry to wait in line for this crap. I'll have yours if you like. Can I have slurry? The line starts at the end. Yeah, you are the end. Give me my fucking slurry. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to join civil protection just to get a decent meal. 
Slurry, please. Ugh. New in town, aren't you? Yep. Word to the wise. Keep it to yourself. Okay, bye. Because <laughs> a society that would willingly suppress that would be so monstrous. I mean, who would keep us from our progesterone and standard HRT? <laughs> Hello. Right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna join the line of the slurry folk and just be a slurry boy. Maybe I can share their slurry. I don't know how I walk, by the way, and not run. I'm very quick. I'm all hopped up on slurry. Hello. I'd like to help you, but it's out of the question. There we go. There's Russian words in some way. I don't know where we are. Eastern Europe or Russia or somewhere. Where are you all going? Can I join you? I'm a slurry boy in a slurry world. <laughs> also, slurry autocorrected to slutty, which is correct. <laughs> There's probably people who trade their bodies for more slurry, and you could call them slurry sluts, I guess. Hello. I'm just a slurry boy. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fine. New in town, aren't you? Le let me through. If I hug you, will you let me through? Like, if I just latch onto you like a koala to a tree or a mama koala, just, like, ride you like a backpack, then maybe it'll let me through the gate? I don't know how this works. Do we all get, like, microchips? Stop taking photos of me. I'm going to Paul McCartney your camera. And if you do it again, I'll bjerk you. There's a lot of cops. Let me. Uh, <laughs> oh, you hold up a card. Is that like a chip in your arm? Like that guy who got the oyster card chip and put it in his wrist. Remember that news story? A couple of people did that to be goofy. If you don't know, there's a, a thing called an oyster card in London. It's the London Underground, I think. It's like a little travel card, like a leap card here. And you just uh, tap your your card on the dial, and it opens up the turns dial, and you can go into the into the train. But somebody took out, took out the little chip that did that and put it into their palm, so they could just kind of wave it over the thing and just have it on them forever. I think they might expire though, so you're, you're gonna have to dig that out at some point, which is pretty grim. Hello. Oh no, you're doing fucky stuff. What are you doing? <laughs> I just want to watch. I'm not even going to stop you. I just want to watch. Okay, I probably give him his privacy. <laughs> not if it's an NFC rewritable chip. You could probably just get it re up, like, re scanned the next. Ooh, Daddy Long Legs. Hello. Hiya. You've got a sort of mobile tank. This looks like just modern American cops. They predicted it. Stop trying to fucking hit me with electricity! Fucking hell, I'm just saying hello! It is like dealing with cops, for fuck's sake. Right, can I climb this? No, I'll climb the ladder then. Yippee. Unless they encased it in silicon or something. I imagine it's not body safe either. I have no idea. I don't know what they did. I remember just seeing a patch of red skin on a guy's palm and going like, look, I can tap. American cops are definitely more heavy armed than this. I have seen pictures of American cops in the last few years and they look more and more like a shit Iron Man cosplay. <laughs> God, didn't even break my knees that time. I'm just imagining it breaking down inside his hand. Ooh. Just like crying bits of gears and stuff. I don't think there's gears in my crutches. <laughs> Hiya! Oh my fucking god, they killed one here. Just a random pleb getting killed. Lovely. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hiya. This is how it always starts. First the building, then the whole block. There no goes the neighborhood. Place. Don't worry, they'll find one. I love how these guys stand. I, I feel like every country and every culture, oh, for fuck's sake, has this. Just guys who go like, My goodness, that's quite a length. <laughs> but however shall it fit in my oven? 
This loaf isn't ready for baking, my sweet. Well, this is fun. It has yet to rise. If only we could hurry that along. In How my mind, they're boyfriends. That, that I oh, agree. Oh, my foolish little Argonian maid. You <clears> must <throat> use your hands. You wish me to knead the loaf? Here. Why, of course. But what if the mistress catches me? Your loaf was only meant to satisfy her appetites. Do not fret, my delicate flower. I'll satisfy the mistress's cravings later. Very well, but I'm afraid my oven isn't hot enough. It could take hours. Plenty of time, my sweet. Plenty of time. There we go. First Argonian Major 2024. I think it is, and thank you for the bits as well. This illustrates the dangers of technology very well. Yes, Drea, crying little gears is exactly what I was worried about. You get me? I feel like that would be very painful, crying little gears. Like, if you could cry, like, if your tears were, like, pulpy, that would make crying a lot less pleasurable. And I know what people are going to say. Did you just say crying is pleasurable? You know it is. It's not, sometimes, I don't cry very often. In fact, I very rarely cry. But sometimes crying feels great. So good. But if it had, like, bits in it, like natural orange juice, that would really ruin the whole thing. Or if your tear ducts were gear-shaped. <laughs> they just extruded them like Play-Doh. Hiya! What fucking nonsense are you doing in there? Everything is grim. Can I go on swings? Please. Oh, God. This is where we keep the horrifying little baby. Oh, I forgot that physics was this advanced for 2004. Look at that. Is this just uh, X's and O's or knots and crosses? Can I, like... I can't actually properly interact with it. I can't, like, drag them to, to X or O. Whatever. <laughs> Can I... Swing. Just jump on it and then swing. There we go. Yippee. <laughs> Yippee. God, I love swings. Doomer game. This kind of is a doomer game. <laughs> God, I love swings so much. If I had a large garden, like right now I have kind of a medium to small garden. I would love to get a swing set. Just like a nice, small swing set. A bit like this, but not as rusty and dangerous looking. Just a nice little swing set that I could go on and listen to podcasts or something. Do the roundabout. <gasps> I don't know if I've ever done this. Come on, get me in the middle. Oh, Christ! I feel like this could kill a person. <laughs> I feel like this is how all roundabouts end, though. When it Shut up! Ow! Shut up. Whenever you get on a roundabout, you're going to end up sick or hurt. And so I always would. Can I get right in the middle? Ah, oh, fuck, I have to be offside to spin it. That's so annoying. There we go. Doesn't want me to have as much fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing variations of the woman with who hold male tears mugs with extra pulp now added underneath. Can we market those? Oh. I have to be the first to get one. I can't live without it from this minute on. What would pulp in tears even be, though? Probably, like, pus. Like, if you had an eye infection. Can you cry pus? You can cry blood. But your blood is also quite smooth. The cells in blood, they don't feel like pulp. Pulp is... I mean, blood is fairly liquidy, right? But it's thicker than tears, famously. <laughs> Curdled stuff. Oh. Milk. Crying tears of milk. Clotted cream. Curdled body fluids. <laughs> Remember this girl who had this condition that crystallized her tears? That's... See, that sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> but it probably was very unpleasant. I'm in... I don't know where I am or why I'm here. But I'm in this house. I'm just kind of wondering. I like the intro to this game where you just basically wander fairly aimlessly through this fucking nightmare. <laughs> Like, you know that there's people out here who know you and recognize you, but you don't know where exactly, and everything's locked and brutal. It looks a little bit like House Flipper 1, by the way, this game. Because House Flipper 1 was made of a lot of just sort of generic assets. But this looks a lot like House Flipper 1. 
I finished the story mode of House Flipper 2 last night. I played uh, an upsetting amount of House Flipper 2. House Flipper 2. I don't even know if it's a good game. I genuinely don't. But it is addictive as fuck if you enjoy tidying up. If you tidy up and you t take a step back and you go, ha, ah, and get like a little mental boost of endorphins, then that game will ruin your life. But I, I blasted through it and finished it last night. <laughs> There's still more houses to flip, but uh, all the renovations are done. Oh, hello. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I hear wet smashing. Hi. Was that you knocking? I didn't even know we still had a door. <laughs> you are strung out. Look at your eyes. <laughs> oh, Turn this shit off. Cop. He's one of us. Hi. I told you they'd be coming for us next. Just this once, I hope you're wrong. I think you should all run. Like, why are you still here? This is, seems really bad. I think you should all leave. Yeah, I'm moving. Fuck off. I can't take it anymore. It's gonna be okay. What? Yeah, bye. <laughs> like visiting London. This is so much like all the Parisian apartment buildings I saw. Europe expectations reality. <laughs> why are you following me? I don't like that. I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> I don't like that you're following. Hi. Are we friends? Are you gonna like cut off my legs? Oh Jesus! You can't run in behind me screaming. You're not allowed. Fuck the cops! Run! Uh, you're you all gonna need to run. Fucking hell. Where, uh, somebody? <laughs> Sorry, you can all be meat shields for me! Get in here, quick! Keep moving! Thank you! Uh, are you gonna be okay? <laughs> I don't know if you have. Oh, fuck! Okay, bye. Can I have a gun? Or maybe some sort of, uh, big stick that I can beat people up with? Fuck me, I hear go- Oh, Jesus, they're shooting me! Stop it! Right, um... Things have gone poorly. <laughs> Lovely attic. It's fucking huge! Okay, we need to run up here and not get shot in the meantime. I mean, they know where I am because this fucking paparazzi bot is around. All for blinking without a permit. It is Britain. You got a license for that. We have the same here. People make fun of the television license in Britain, but we have it too. <laughs> and I definitely pay it. <laughs> oh Christ, run! Luckily they have Stormtrooper aim. At least for now. <laughs> ah, that one hurt. That hit. Fuck it off! Jesus Christ, I'm blind. Cool, that helps. Leave me alone. I feel like I would just be throwing paint cans and shit at this thing. It's like the German government clamping down on the last East German anarchist building. Well, bye. Just take my body. Just take me. No, you don't. A woman? Dr. Freeman, I presume. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm inhabiting the body of a 2004 oh, gamer. Better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. A wom? <laughs> Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. Gaming's for boys! <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. Can I take one of their little stun sticks? Where are they? I mean, it's right there. Can I take one of their little stunny sticks? This way, Gordon. Yeah, shut up, I'm looking. <laughs> Leave me alone. Hi. Hiya. How are you? I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. Uh, how old were you? Man, a few words, aren't you? I sort of just blank out children. If this is 20 years later, 
How old are you now? You look about... 25, maybe? 25, 26? Your old administrator. <laughs> Don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. You look very 2004, don't you? Woo! Secrets! I remember very little of this, by the way. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised. <laughs> a woman and she saved me? A man? Cries extra pulp. <laughs> I don't know. Were people against Alex? Because Alex is, in my mind, one of the most fun companions in video gaming. I remember really liking Alex, especially in the episodes later on. I remember really, really liking Alex. Did, did that sort of charm overcome the sort of inherent sexism of the gaming world? <laughs> On this day in particular. <laughs> Let's go. She's supposed to be about 24 years old. Okay, so 24, 25, so she would have been about five. We've been helping people escape the city on foot. In the first game, or at the time of the first game. Lab. So I would not Leading have known you, no. <laughs> Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. Cool. I don't remember a hatred yeah. towards her, but there wasn't social yeah. media to the same extent. Maybe it's like, I didn't know. There's apparently on forums, because this is before my time, right, when I was on the internet a lot. Apparently on forums, there was a lot of hatred for the um, for the the Lord of the Rings movies from a certain type of person who was angry that there was female elves. <laughs> I mean, there's like three women in that entire movie series, and they were still mad because they replaced Glorfindel with, uh, to be fair... One of the worst actors ever <laughs> in Liv Tyler. But that one scene with her is really good with the horses. Dr. Breen's private reserve. Oh, is this his piss? It's I very clear for his piss. Oh, it's a door. I am thirsty, though. I, I don't think I've... I think it's... It, the implication is that I have been in stasis of some sort for 20 years. So I don't think I've aged or oh, anything. However, I am waiting. I have not eaten or drink anything in 20 years. Could I maybe even have some piss? Maybe he's just very well hydrated. It would have to be very well hydrated for that. Uh Alex Alex was universally on, praised pretty much. Also Henlo. <laughs> I don't know if she's a manic pixie like she seems a bit too rough and tumble. I remember liking her. Hi yeah. I've just remembered! There's like a little pet! Where did she get to? Lamar! Lamar! Oh, I've remembered! Uh-oh, everything all right, Dr. Kleiner? Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness. Gordon Freeman. I know, I am. Really they made me you, much it? hotter I in the air. Like, outside. so much hotter. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. Chips with ketchup in that crate. I must they're like you, McDonald's chips, where they're very, very skinny. Time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if Don't this thing a, works, Don't be as okay? much of a creep. Well, <laughs> Hello, Barno. How Man old are you? Gordon, Maybe like mid to late thirties? Are we the same age? No, because this has been 20 years. You must be at least like 40. You've aged phenomenally. He's coming with me. That's right, Barney. This is a red letter day. We'll inaugurate I never understood what that phrase meant. Transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous about. We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc. Since he's not he's right behind me, isn't he? Sorry, this was very much of that era. <laughs> oh dear, you're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. Huh. I've got to get back on my ship, but okay. Hiya. Here we go. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Little baby, he bumped his head. There you are. I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The oh, worst you might do is attempt God. to couple with your head fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me. She bumped her fucking head. <laughs> Here, my pet. Hop up. Oh. No, not up there. No, no. 
<laughs> I also Don't love that they just kept the same oh, like fine. compressed in T3. <laughs> yeah, longer if we're lucky. No, Barney, I love her. You're not an animal person. <sighs> oh, also the suit is here. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, Are you all a bit obsessed with me? Cause you, I assume you would have thought I was dead. If I if I've been gone for twenty fucking years with no explanation, why did you keep the suit? <laughs> Maybe you just thought you could use it, but like, weird. <laughs> also, where'd you get the suit? Like, am I nude? Am I just like hanging hog throughout this entire opening? Am I like dangling hog right now in front of these two? Tell me. Hog? No. Okay. Maybe I'm just in a jumpsuit. How do I... Do I just... St I step into it. There we go. <laughs> Little bit of music. I think they've been building a cult well, the whole time. Well, I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least, the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now, let's see. The Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Did you write this? Oh, dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit you stuff, Gordon. Good idea. Fill me with juice. You didn't wall. look at yourself in the earlier monitors? I didn't know that was a thing. Also, a fucking... I've Kazoo modified has been your redeemed. suit to draw power from combine energy outlets, which are plentiful wherever they patrol. Oh, hey, these things. Let's get this show on the road. Again, same noise. It's great. Fantastic. Good stuff. What is the kazoo that's been redeemed? I adjusted the suit for your massive hog, <laughs> Freeman has, I don't know if it's just because he's quiet. Is the phrase big dick energy still in use by the youth? I think Freeman kind of does. Check the picture on the wall. Freeman's on there. I will check. You're probably just in the shirt and slacks you're wearing at the start of Half-Life 1. Oh, fuck off. It's another novelty shit. Oh. <laughs> I have to say the interactions so far are nice. It doesn't seem awkward, which is rare. I think this game deserves praise, especially for that. Forget all the, um, all the graphical improvements and the physics engine and stuff like that. That was fairly revolutionary. The fact that they have conversations between characters where they are not having awkward fucking pauses between each line, where it actually feels like natural dialogue for the most part, and they don't like, hey, Freeman, welcome back. Ten seconds of silence. Yeah, he. I found him wandering around in the tunnels. Like, it just... It's so irritating to me when games do that. It's so unnatural and awkward. And modern games do it all the time. It's very rare you get a game that doesn't do that awkward pausing between lines. Or they do it too much and they're talking over each other. This is a nice balance. Anyway, Harry Enfield. I don't know if I 100% know who Harry Enfield is. He's like a 90s, early 2000s British comedy boy. And I think I might hate it. Is is Harry Enfield, is he involved with Kevin and Perry? Is that a thing? Kevin and Perry might be Harry Enfield, which is very unfunny. <laughs> Emma will always reference Kevin and Perry if I shrug or go, mm, which I do a lot. He was Kevin. Okay, good. Oh. Loads of money doing up the house. Will I despise this? Probably. It's a novelty song. Oh, you! Shut your mouth and look at my wad. Loads of money. This is a... Oh, I think, honestly, novelty songs should be banned. Genuinely. <laughs> the way they ignored Alex when she asked about the cat was really good. It's because they don't involve performers or acting directors in that process. Mm. <laughs> Journey into money. Loads of money. I think that was a little sem sample uh, in the background, that synth of money, that's what I want, that thing. It's like, they say the best things in life are free, but you can leave it to the birds and bees, I want the money, that thing. Is this a parody of that? It's like to money. Was 
a spell, loads of money, probably. May the right load of tennis in Lolly this weekend. Four legs, watch out for the ladies. Loads of, loads of, loads of. Does this count as a song? This is, this, uh, it feels like one of those things, you know, apparently in Guantanamo Bay, they would like play terrible pop songs to like, as a form of mental torture. Was this one of them? <laughs> Fucking hell. This is extremely 80s and extremely British. That's Harry Enfield. Is this the 80s? I thought it was the 90s. 1988. It reached number 14 in Ireland. It charted at number four in the UK. Oh my God. I hope this person got ill. I hate it. Paul Whitehouse just standing, waiting for someone to invent the fest show. I know um, Paul Whitehouse because he did that show with um, Bob Mortimer, who I do like. I like Bob Mortimer. That's fun. Um, he did that show where they just go fishing and look at, like, nice lakes and rivers on the BBC. It's one of those shows. But I watched, like, one series of it and enjoyed it. I think they're on, like, series eight. <laughs> right, let's try and kazoo this. I don't even know if there's a melody to kazoo. It just seems to go from one parody to another. This is 30 years after the Suez Canal crisis, you need to understand. This is written and produced by William Orbit, and then other people saying Orbit. I don't know who William Orbit is. Is he a producer who's a famous murderer? <laughs> like Phil Spector. <laughs> who's William Orbit? Lots of Grammys. He's done, he's got such a long fucking thing. I don't, production and songwriting credits. Lots and lots of stuff. Madonna, Blur, Mel C, Ricky Martin, No Doubt, U2, Pink, Robbie Williams. Katie Mellowa, Chris Brown, and, and recently enough as well, Queen, Britney Spears, Queen. Right, so he's famous. <laughs> I think they just did uh, series six, which makes me interested. Shut your mouth and look at my wad. No, you <laughs> even kazoo this there's no melody Is he dead? I hope he is. Got too much money. That's just referencing Monty Python in a funny, <laughs> problematic but funny sketch. Don't reference better shit in your th shit. References. Oh, 
I can't. I can't do it. I can't. This is too bad. I love how people are still discovering this song and keeping it fresh with current scenarios. Little did they know that this was basically the future of music. What the fuck is wrong with you, Franklin Hirsch, sixteen fifty four? Are you deaf or are you just willfully idiot? What's wrong with you? Was first exposed to this song when I was thirteen year when I was thirteen. Almost eleven years later, it's an absolute joy to return to. One hundred percent should have been our entry for Eurovision. The amount of characters played by Harry Enfield in this is outstanding. He's basically Peter Sellers, yes. I I hope bad things happen to everybody involved in the song. It's made me mad. Holy scratch, it's making me mad. My mum just asked what that awful noise was. Sit on his chest like a chimpanzee and beat him in the chest. I mean, I feel like doing that to Harry Enfield. Is Harry Enfield still alive? Uh, yes, he's only 62. What a shame. Right, let's close that down and let's go back to the game, shall we? That was... I don't know if I'll ever quite get over that. <laughs> this is worse than the monkeys. <laughs> from the fucking Star Wars game that was really terrible I think British comedy novelty songs are some of the worst pieces of media that exist I think they're never funny like from Benny Hill to Harry Enfield to the fucking goon show they're all the most insufferable shit you've ever had to put yourself through oh good cat ears they're all genuinely dis. Uh, displeasurable to listen to and I don't know why people put up with them for so long there we go cat ears <laughs> change me stance the human race deserves to be annihilated <laughs> let's resume the game back into half-life hello I charged up my suit oh this is me I think oh there I am they've prettied me up because in the in the art for half-life one I looked nowhere near this handsome I think mean, that's meant to be me well, and is that Breen? Dr. Kleiner's waiting. Oh, where did this fucker go? The one who looked like Einstein. I think that's meant to be Vance. Eli Vance. That's Kleiner. That's me. That's... Which one? Is, this is Breen, probably. Don't know who else is here. You coming? We'll see later. How old is... I can't remember how old Gordon is meant to be. Gordon's only meant to be something like 23, isn't he? I think he's meant to be like 23, 24. He was quite young in the first one. Like, deceptively young. So I think we're probably the same. 26! So we're basically the same age. Me and Alex. The plot is starting, by the way. <laughs> Gordon, why don't you position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word? Isaac, are you there? Yay, yes, hello. Yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. It me. Uh, that's not who I think it is. Indeed it is. You've aged worse and than Barney. Although, no, you've got kind of a grizzled charm. I think this guy died recently. The guy who voices Eli. We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's He's really good in this. Gordon's 27, okay. <laughs> Techno gar jargon. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. Initializing in three, two, one. So, fiddlesticks. What now? I think we should bring uh, back saying fiddlesticks. Doctor, the plug. Uh, dear me, you're right. Gordon, would you mind plugging us in? 
Technically, he's 47 if we count the 20 year stasis. See, if he's 27 and she's 24, 25, that's a perfectly fine. Uh, that's perfectly fine age gap, considering we were in stasis. If we, if 47 and 24 would be like the average Hollywood age gap. So that's ideal. <laughs> I'll get with Barney. That seems more appropriate. Hello, Barney. He was Rafiki in The Lion King. That's it. That's all, what he's more famous for, probably. I know him as Eli. What am I doing? Flipping switch? Okay. Very good. Final sequence. Commencing. I'm a physicist. I can't look. I've got a master's and I'm flipping switches. <laughs> My relief is almost palpable. It's fantastic work, is it? Well, so we're running I like a, an underground wa railroad, basically. An able assistant. Let's go ahead and well, they are. I'm just right hanging well. around. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All if right, I could Bonnie, punch, I would. Gee, thanks. <laughs> what a fucking what a prickish thing to say. We're meant to be friends. And not a moment too soon. That's so mean. I feel like Alex should have some sort of brain damage. Oh no, she's trapped inside the TV now. Uh, that didn't Once sound we're good. Safely ensconced in the transmitter, we can begin. Okay. Wish me luck, I guess. Initializing in three. Should I two, not move? What if a fly one. gets in? Or Lamar the head crab? So Will I turn into an adorable little squish creature? Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage and best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. See you in a second. The hell? What is it? It's your head headhopper. Oh! I'm actually gonna turn into a squish baby. Hi. I'm not sure. It seems to be some kind of interference. Gordon, stay put. We'll get you out of here. Something is throwing him away. What's the meaning of this? Who are you? How did you get in here? They think he's back. I'm getting him out of there. You can't just wait in the field, and we'll peel you apart. Just lost Gordon. What's going on? I wish I knew. I'm encountering unexpected interference. Don't worry, Gordon. Oh, there he is. Hi, can you just like fucking pull me out? All but certain it was Gordon Freeman. Oh, for fuck's sake! Not them again! He didn't come through. Then where is he? Hi. Behind you. I'm like right here. <laughs> Shut it down. Gordon, you must get out of here. Run! Get down out of sight. I'll come find you. Uh, I feel like they may have found us. <laughs> this is uh. You're not very good at this whole underground railroad thing, are you? Ah, oh, fuck. The peps got me. Can I pick up a barrel or something and throw it at them? Fuck off. Oh, I can't really... I, my little arms can't take it. I don't know if I meant to come in here. Uh, where the fuck am I going? <laughs> Help. Close the door. Close the door. Close the fucking door! Piss off. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Close the fucking door. There we go. Now we're fine. Surely they can't manage doors in the, the far future of 2023. Robots still struggle with that. It's basically just that weird dog one that <laughs> gets sent out to Israel. Hey, Gordon. Hiya. The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City is that 17 that? as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, buddy. Do you? Are you in love with me? 
This is just a random crow. I mean, I love it. Get, don't get me wrong. I love the crowbar. This is just a, a crowbar that you found on the floor and you were like, it smells like Gordon still. Do you have this in your bed? I think they're in love with me. They had to assume I was dead. Have I become like, I think what's happened is I've become like a Christ figure to them. Which seems a bit fucked up because I was fairly instrumental in <laughs> dooming everybody in Black Mesa, right? <laughs> Although I did save the scientists. That's probably it, right? Because again, I don't remember everything about this game. Um, like, the, the plot of uh, Half-Life 1 involves me kind of rescuing scientists throughout and bringing down the military and stuff like that, so... We must have figured out something to help them at some point. They probably got rid of some of the soldiers and managed to escape. I mean, they must have escaped. Look at them, they're here. So they probably have been kind of venerating me as a messiah for a while. The messiah has given us a curl there. The free man. The only thing that got them through the pandemic. I mean, the combine. <laughs> I'm their version of like binging episodes of The Office. Oh, also I have a torch now. Yippee. And music, again. I don't remember any of the music from this game either, because when I played it, I think I turned it off. It's very 2004. Hi. Fuck off. Yes. <laughs> I can kill them now. We're all fine. It might now be too loud, by the way. <laughs> we'll see. Ah, fuck. I hear guns. Bye. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot there's sprint power in this one. You can't just glide along the floor like a fucking figure skater. Uh, not here. Oh, God. 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 Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, where to now? They're not up there yet. So just fucking run. Oh Christ! <laughs> See what I mean? It's very house flipper. I'm sure these assets were used in house flipper. Oh Christ! Yep! Are they fucking paragliding in? I need to rebind the fucking controls, by the way. Hang on. <laughs> because I just tried to hold down C to crouch, which is my preferred, and it did not do anything. Uh, Doc, I would like that to be C if possible. Thank you. There we go. That's better. And we're fine. They can't... Ooh, a thumb croucher, are we? I am. Well, actually, you know how I crouch? Very, very late 90s. You know how I crouch in games? Right now, my fingers are on W-A-S-D. Well, W-A and D. And then, obviously, move the middle finger down for S. My little finger is on shift and sometimes on control. My Then my index finger goes down to C to crouch. So my thumb is exclusively for space. Is what I used to be scared would happen if I said fuck the state too many times on Amazon.com streaming platform. <laughs> oh good, some health. Although again, we're on normal difficulty, so I don't anticipate this being too hard. Uh, I've got a crowbar now, you fuckers! Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Help! Jesus Christ! Now I've got a gun! You'd better run. There's nothing else you can do here. Now, in the first game, I wasted so much ammunition because I kept trying to use iron sights. Is iron sights in this game? No. Do not right-click then. <laughs> right-clicking, still not a thing in the Half-Life world. Shut up, I'm busy. I can kneecap you if you like. 
Uh, you're probably in mourning. I'll leave you alone. <laughs> he might have been a prick. We don't know. Oh! <laughs> now that's fun. From what I remember in this game, the damage system is actually pretty good, where they go down pretty quickly, but so do you. Like, a couple of shots, you know, it's almost realistic, right? A couple of shots and they die. Zed to zoom in. Oh, you can zoom in. I forgot you have zoom eyes in this game. There we go. I'm loving it. Ah, <laughs> uh, probably shouldn't look at that. <laughs> Hi. Everybody okay? E? Which way do we think we go? Probably down the stairs. I'm surprised there's no boys. Oh fuck, I think we need to jump the train. I've remembered, hang on. <laughs> uh, how high do I need to be here? I think I would break every bone in my body. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off! I hate not having iron sights. Get off the fucking ladder! Is that a fucking grenade? What was that? Shut up. Ah, fucking eyes! Is that a grenade as well? Are they just shooting out windows for fun? Where the fuck are you? Piss off. I have okay aim. <laughs> you don't have the natural athleticism of a trained physicist. I think I must have been a bit of a jock physicist, right? Like a physicist who plays basketball or something. Uh, you made the mistake of standing next to some explosives, my friends. Ah, that hurt my ear. Hang on, my volume might be too high. Yep. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> we all good? I think we're all good. Everything's going fine. It was basically just a normal, nice day. I don't even see who's shooting at me now. You are. Fuck off. Uh, we meant to go through here. <laughs> yes. Ooh, very pretty. Lambda locator. Find all of the lambda caches in Half-Life 2. Have I done that? Or <laughs> is that just like unfilled? Because I imagine there's a lot, but maybe I found them on my previous playthrough. Off, oh, off. There's another one over there. See the beady little head. There we go. Luckily, I am a killing machine. I'm gonna break my fucking legs. There we go. Oh, you also have flashlight battery. I forgot about that. No, not towards me. This sports scholarship kid knows nothing. He's just basketballing all. Wait, what's this he's writing on the blackboard? That's Theodosa's Grand Unified Theory, but solved. Fuck right off, you prick. Oh good, I'm getting it mushed again. What the fuck was that? Oh, you're right! <laughs> Why didn't you come out, you coward? <laughs> So far, this is very fun and, uh, you know, um, arcadey, which I'm enjoying. I think they are going to chase me down, though. Fuck off! Fuck were they? There. We can ignore them. This, oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know if bullets can get through that force field, so I'm just gonna run. Stop hitting me! I'm so sore! 
They can get through that fucking thing. Oh no. Oh Jesus Christ. Okay. Just shoot. Shoot. I am out. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Hide behind the corner. Hide behind the fucking corner. Okay. They come to me. Alright. If you peek out, you deserve it. Are they sending more? God, I'm a good aim. Anyway, let's run. Bye. I have killed hundreds of cops at this point. Surely they're running out. Another one. I think they might know what's happening. Oh, don't make me go in the fucking gross water. It's like swimming in the River Lee. Hyper local cork reference for everybody. <laughs> this is what the river really fucking looks like. Oh, absolutely disgusting. I'm gonna see some genuine filth floating in here, aren't I? This doesn't look like a society that would really care about water quality. It's like swimming anywhere on the UK coast. That's true. Shouldn't complain. <laughs> Disgusting gubbins. <laughs> I feel like I don't hear the word gubbins very often. Can I climb you? I feel like I should be able to do one pull up. Wow, this is so clean. <laughs> British water is notoriously fucked right now. I love the word gubbins. Gubbins is a good word. <laughs> Mattress. Good God. <gasps> a friend. Hello. Guess those sirens are for you, huh? Good thing you found us. You're not the first to come through here by This is the free man. The Combine's reckoning has come. Oh, they treat us as a religious figure, I've just remembered. Because we killed their slave owner. I forgot. Okay. Don't, for the love of God, don't let them know you've forgotten that you freed them as slaves. <laughs> <laughs> that would go over so badly. Just nod and smile until you put it together. <laughs> Look, we're just a little for the Underground Railroad. Main station's right around the corner. They'll get you started on the right foot. Meanwhile, let my Vortigaunt friend here give you a jolt to get you going. Prostate shock? Oh, you're lovely. You're a lovely boy. Thank you. Thank you. That was very nice of you. Be careful now. We oh, he looks so shy! He's so polite! Civil protection catches you down here. He's it's just like, ooh. News for the whole <laughs> we serve the same mystery. Are you the same voice actor as Eli? I've never noticed this. Uh, does this TV, like, hook up to anything? Or are you just pretending shows are on? I'll piss off. You're probably want me gone. What a precious bean. Oh, they're so cute! Look at your little toots! Look at those toots! This is probably extremely offensive. Like, <laughs> if, I, if I just went up to an alien species, we're like, look at your tooths! Let's go. Bye. See ya. Thank you. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> they had to put a human in there to stop you shooting them. I mean, they were very, very irritating. Oh, God! I walked in the fire! They were very, very irritating in the first game. Before we freed them as slaves. Like, they did shock me to death. Like, a dozen times at least in the first game. Come on, just... Oh, God! That was more load-bearing than I wanted. I think if you right-click on him, he'll be your friend? Hang on. <laughs> friend? Oh, no! They blocked me out! Well, bye. Stop walking in the fucking fire, you freak. Attention. Oh, it's a little crow. Hello. Hello, little crow. Oh, look at that. That's very sweet. Is he eating the meat off of that skull? Very nice. Right click is the kill button. <laughs> no! You broke his fucking neck. I was wondering if you'd remember that right click equals death. Is it? <laughs> That's genuinely devastating. 
Right, moving on. <laughs> Let's climb up this big hill. Oh, you coward. Is this a fucking invisible wall? No, I can climb up the big hill. It's rapid fire for the pistol. Not yet, apparently. Right click isn't doing anything. Maybe I have to unlock that. It was in Half-Life 1. I heard more blood and noises. What was that? Hi. Oh, you live in a pipe. Oh, Christ! I can't even see who's shooting at me. I'm just blind firing. I, I see blood splatters and a death noise. Good stuff. Oh, Christ. Come on. There we go. Any more? Oh, there's so many more. Okay, hang on. They have a big machine gun. Um, can I get in here and live in the pipes? Although the pipes don't seem particularly safe. I might have to just dip and dive. Like fucking... Yep! Now we're fine. <laughs> ah! I feel cool. <laughs> I would not have realized how often birds die like this and not been seeing Jay experience it. I now feel cold and hollow for not being as emotionally connected to the death of birds. I mean, crows are very cute. Screaming at death velocity. Station 12, come in. Hi. This is Station 8. We heard 12 go down and out. Uh, surgical strike units are targeting railway stations. Repeat. Civil protection is coming down on underground stations. We're already getting refugees from 9 and outlying. Looks like we're... I wouldn't be shouting Station this considering this has been taken over. <laughs> Station 8, are you You're there? just letting them know where you are. Man hex. It's all f uh, male writers. <laughs> Let's go. I'm gonna pop up like a little mole and beat the shit out of these boys. In fact, I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> there we go. Hello. Ooh. That's pretty fun. Bang. 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 It seems good. I like this. Oh, did I just accidentally blow somebody up there? They're coming! <laughs> Hang on. No, not you! Fuck off! Fucking hell. Kill this one, please. Don't let them get behind me. That would be the worst thing to do. Kill you. Fuck off! that <laughs> he crashed the ah! okay run <laughs> I would like to run away now <laughs> bye <laughs> we did enough <laughs> can I live in the pipes I just want to live in the pipes lambda symbol that usually means boxes there we go they died of incompetence <laughs> Just instant ignite, no warning. Someone has to complicate a question. They really are the British police. I hate you because you killed my crow friend. Are you dead? No, now you're dead. They have to vomit first. Also, I hate how short a time this fucking torch lasts. Why do you take so much more killing than a fucking cop? <laughs> I guess you probably have thicker skin. Ooh, that's big. It's a very linear game, which helps me a lot in terms of knowing what the fuck I'm doing at any given moment. What? Oh, it's a pipe woman. Hello. Station was raided, but there's others up ahead. I'm gonna stay here in case any others come through. Gotta keep the railway alive. You're very brave and also quite stupid. They're all dead, <laughs> but okay, bye. Although I killed so many cops, you might be able to make it work. See ya. <laughs> She's got no snacks. I could give her some, I'm not carrying any snacks either, am I? I'm just kind of eating, foraging as I go, I guess. Ooh, hello. I've noticed, by the way, when I'm listening, I sort of crouch. I didn't know that was a thing that I did until having a standing desk. 
I, when I listen intently to a game now, I've noticed the sun vods and clips. I like crouch down slightly and look like I'm sort of half doing a squat. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna shoot you right up through the perineum. Ah, oh, fuck. I feel like that was a bad idea. I really needed to kill them both at once. Because now he knows where I am. Hmm. <laughs> How do I crouch jump? Crouch jump? Actually, crouch jumping is harder with this on C, so I might change it back to control. There we go. Like leaning into a corner when playing a racing game. I also kind of do that. I'll turn my body a little bit. Now, in my defense, I blame that on one of the first racing games I ever played was Mario Kart Wii, and I would use sometimes the wheel controller, which did very much call for that. You would have to, like, turn the controller physically. I, heard, I hit my pop filter. <laughs> but you'd have to turn the controller physically, so it, it sort of instilled that in me. Although my mum also does that, and I think that's just because she's older. <laughs> oh, good. Deep water. Did you just put a bomb in there? Oh god, you did! Run, run, oh, fucking swim down! Do something! Crouch. I think this might still kill you. This might liquefy your insides in a bad way. Oh, Christ! Uh, maybe that was the guy. Hang on. I think I basically did body shots. There we go. Ooh, I will take your gun. <laughs> Hang on. Extra ammo, I'll take that. The Wiimote wheel thing was kind of cool. I remember thinking it was kind of cool. I don't think I would ever use it now. I must stay here. My presence would be confusing to the action. <laughs> She'd probably have already drowned in the pipe. Oh my fucking god, stop it. Why are there so many of you? I just tried to iron sights again. I'm so used to it in modern games. Where are you? Peek out your little baby head. There we go. Luckily, I am an all-right aim, even without iron sights. It's one of my few skills in video games. I don't have many. I'm normally quite shit at video games. But my aim is not terrible. It's not great, but it's not bad. Don't stand next to the barrel. Blow this up. Maybe it'll knock the bridge. Yay! <laughs> That's what we want. Uh, this way? This way? This, this way. Sure. Oh, you had eye frames, you fucker. Now you don't. <laughs> ah! Just make sure we're all topped up on ammunition and then climb up the hill, maybe. More of these fucks. Ah! Don't eat me. Oh, it's so slippery. It's like playing a Mario game. Oh, I know what to do. <laughs> Again, this game uses physics in a way that is very fun. Right, I think it's two to start the flames. There we go. <laughs> Look, that is very satisfying. Maybe take another one in case there's more. There is more. Only a couple, though. Oh no, they're all dead. Never mind, this is fine. Now I'm pressing C. My muscle memory has already fucked me. Is this where I'm meant to go? Oh no, there's some sort of helicopter. I only have a shit gun as well. Oh, come on. How many flaming barrels of oil do you just have lying around the city? You think this wouldn't be as much of a thing? Okay, Jesus Christ! Oh my god! Fuck off! Where am I meant to go? Bye! <laughs> See ya! <laughs> the second most satisfying result you can get with a dozen tentacles. Am I meant to go into one of these? Uh, there's a lot of boys. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. We'll take out some of these boys. Like you. You and you. <laughs> there we go. You are also at risk of explosions, you morons. Bye. 
Is that a bear trap? No, it's just a scat. Good. How many more of them are there? Who's dropping them at this point? Don't fall! I have to say, I'm not a, entirely sure about the tentacle thing. The whole tentacle fetish thing. Like, they don't seem as interesting as proper genitals. I don't really get it. Like, it's just, like, I, I don't think I would get anything if, like, a squid person was around. I don't think I'd get anything out of that. Oh, God, they have to illustrate the physics. I remember this puzzle. Hang on. I remember bits and pieces. We need to pile up bricks to make a ramp. A bit too grippy for my liking. I guess when you see tentacle erotica, not that I seek it out particularly, but when you see tentacle erotica, they're usually quite smooth. They're like a smooth boy. They don't really seem to have the grippers, the suction cups that you would associate with octopuses. How many fucking cinder blocks do I weigh? How much does a cinder block weigh? How much do I weigh? How much does Gordon weigh? Anatomically correct tentacle born. There is what, a couple of those. There's ancient ones, like that Japanese painting, which is considered like the first tentacle born from like the 1700s or something or earlier. You know that uh, that Japanese painting where the woman is getting like her bush groomed by tentacles? She's like having sex with a squid or something. So that, that seemed anatomically correct. Okay, this should be enough. Bye! <laughs> Can I go up there? The Fisherman's Wife! That's what it's called, thank you. List of things that Drea doesn't particularly see and yet has mentioned. Tentacles, cowgirls, robot girls, slime girls. They're just around. People like these things. Are you gonna shoot at me? You have a gun, so I'm not gonna take my chances. Wookie kinks, the list goes on. That's gonna shoot at me! Fuck off! Oh god! Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off! Okay, get the suit power and then run away. Ah, uh, this doesn't feel like it's gonna protect me much, does it? <laughs> run away! Bye! Hide, 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 hide! Jesus Christ, crouch! Then go. I'm right in the open, what are you doing? Run, run, run. Okay, this seems fine. I don't think I'm gonna be able to bring this out with a pistol. Probably want something to do with being able to restrain and manipulate with the same thing. It's a twofer. Yeah, it's like, I guess it's like penises that are, can also pin your arms back. It's, it's, there's something to that. But again, tentacles, when I've seen tentacles, like in art, <laughs> art, they've usually been smooth. They don't even look like peni. I need to go down here. I see the lambda sing symbol. Ooh, music's kicked back in. Oh, we're back in the fucking mud tunnels. I don't really want to be in the mud tunnels. <laughs> well, that's lovely. Hello. That's quite a horrible corpse. Like, even in terms of video game stuff, that's a pretty fucking gross looking corpse. I don't even know if I need the health or the ammo. I don't know why I swam back here with the fucking moldy, burned corpse. Bye. Sex doesn't need to have a logical reason. You just look at it and go, I bet I could sexualize that, and then you do. I'm familiar with the Sonic fandom. <laughs> right, let's send this down, please. Light him up. I was feeling a little odd seeing the corpse and writing that. It's like that one NPC in Oblivion? Oblivion's the one with the necrophiliac, isn't it? Do you know what the fine for necrophilia is these days? Ah, oh, fuck, there's more. Okay, uh, I might just dip and dive past them. You're familiar with the Sonic Phantom in the same way you're familiar with what ASMR is. Look, there's a lot of weird Sonic art. <laughs> I don't understand it, I don't pretend to. More of the fuckers. There we go. Any more? I mean, I could throw a tire down or uh, some... You know what? They might like some cooked meat. I can't pick up the corpse, apparently. Let's just go. Whee! 
It would be a fun slide if it wasn't for all the death spikes. They really got their money's worth from the exploding barrel asset. They love it. I mean, every game, especially of this era, had to have them by law. Oh, fuck off. How did you know where I was? I'm sure there's an overlap between Sonic and Tentacles, for instance. Bye. We're doing fine. More corpses. I feel like there's too many burned corpses for me to feel comfortable about this place. Do they regularly light this, these tunnels on fire, like the ending of Chud? <laughs> Mild spoilers for Chud. <laughs> I'd recommend Chud, shockingly. Like, uh, the, the only Sonic art I have saved, because I don't really like the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise, I don't like any of the games, and I don't understand the fandom, but I have two pieces of art saved. One is... Uh, Sonic, no, Knuckles holding a baby Sonic and they're christening him at like a Catholic ceremony with Mountain Dew. And the other one is Sonic and Hedgehog. Sonic and Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog and Shadow the Hedgehog have been merged together into a sort of Cronenberg-esque toilet creature. And Shadow the Hedgehog is the cistern and his nipple is like the flush handle. And Sonic has sort of got like a distended mouth face that is the bowl of the toilet. And then like a, a creature is wandering in from off camera. I assume going to piss or shit in them. I don't really know. Blinks. <laughs> Sonic is just Mario but fast. See, I don't really get Mario either. Talking about toilet Cronenberg again. <laughs> It's happening again, nurse. <laughs> One second. I have it saved to my desktop somewhere. <laughs> it's in my downloads folder. I just keep it there for future use. Here we go. It's safe for stream. It's not even explicit. I mean, it's a little, maybe. It's not against TOS. There we go. That's the art. <laughs> this thing. Well, see you later. <laughs> Oh, shut up. It's not like this is a highlight for me either. I don't know what Shadow the Hedgehog sounds like. Is he very edgy? Oh, shut up. It's not like this is a highlight for me either. Gh, gh. It's pretty bad. <laughs> I love how his little shoes have molded together. <laughs> it's so good. Anyway, back to the game screen, shall we? And go back in here. I hate the frying chicken one more though. Oh, I own three pieces of Sonic art. The other one is Sonic, but he's got like a buff human body and like an eight pack abs. He's like, and he's coming out of the shower or something and he's all dripping. And he's, the speech bubble says, uh, hey baby, are you frying chicken? You piss loud. And then it's like, just kidding. I like it. It's very weird. I don't know why these things exist, but sometimes I come across them and go, well, I have to keep that. That's just great. And so that might become appropriate later for some sort of situation I need a reaction image for. Petition to make end stream a 10k reward. None of these are pornographic either. I mean, graphically pornographic. They probably got a rise out of whoever drew them. But like... They're all safe for work, <laughs> unless, I don't know, if your boss saw them, they probably would fire you, but not for sexual reasons. Hello. You're gonna have to build a railroad all from scratch. Be glad you're not the guy they're looking for. Ha! Poor bastard doesn't stand a chance. Sounds like they're calling in every CP unit in City 17. Don't use that acronym. <laughs> this happened with Cyberpunk as well. Don't use that acronym. Now they're flooding the areas up ahead with manhacks. Better get going before they sweep through here. I hear noises. Uh, you might die. Oh, you've got a pipe! I will switch to pipe as well. Fucking hell! It's like mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. Okay, you did pretty well. That was a close call. Thanks for your help. I think you got all of them. This is maddening, and you're going through some kind of seven stages of grief. I'll give you some supplies to keep you going, and you really gotta go. 
I, get, I, I just inherently don't think the Sonic games are any fun. So it's, it's weird that they have this sort of weird fan community around them. Because has, has there ever been a good one? Or even one that didn't suck? Like, any, I've played one Sonic game, and it was terrible. It was absolutely awful, and they all look the same. Good luck out there. It's just about proximity. <laughs> okay, bye, thanks. Do you want to come with me? I guess he said he was tearing up and cleaning. Oh, fuck off. Okay, open the door. Just fucking go for it. They're good, they're not too bad. Lovely. When it was originally released, there were fewer options. <laughs> Feel like people, is this like Goldeneye? Ah! Jesus Christ! Okay, the explosion made me deaf, but they are dead. Most of them at least. <laughs> um, is this why people like Goldeneye 007? It's because they just didn't know what was coming later. They, they didn't, it's like when you see um, Victorian children playing with hoops and sticks. You know, when, like, you see a child in, like, a straw boater and he's going, Yes, Mama, I'm so happy! And he's, like, rolling a hoop along the ground with a stick. That's basically GoldenEye 007. <laughs> Sorry, my opinions are well known. That's a game idea. <laughs> Give me some health, please, and some ammo. Although I'm not really low on anything. Stick and Hoop Simulator 1824. Uh, is that an explosive barrel? It is not. Oh, dear! Hello! Luckily, your heads are very white and shiny, like one of those fancy ducks. So, it's very easy to deal with you. Freeman inhaling rotten wood chips, smacking happily away at Lord Bang supports. I think I'm a religious icon. <laughs> you know what, I'm just gonna shoot you. You take a lot of punishment from bullets, Jesus. You take like four or five bullets each. You're very efficient. Luckily, I have a crowbar. Uh, am I meant to go in here or up there? Or down there? I'm gonna go in here. Oh, it's very dark. It's very, very dark. Fuck off! Oh, they sting. I imagine this is what it feels like. Or getting hit by them feels like getting hit by... If you've ever had a remote-controlled helicopter or drone. Where it just slightly stings. It's not a, it, it usually stops before it cuts flesh. But if it's glancing off the suit, it probably wouldn't hurt that much. It's only taking one or two hit points at a time. So like a drone. <laughs> it is basically a drone, yes. Although it's not a quadcopter, which is what I associate with drones. It looks a lot more unstable. Bye! <laughs> Don't stand next to explosives. I feel like it's really obvious. I like that they got one in there. Like, when I left. Ah, fucker. Wasted that there. Fucking die, you prick! Okay, turn off your torch. There we go. There we go, lovely. Uh, I think there's more loot in here. Oh, I got a new gun! Yes! I didn't even notice. New fucking gun! Maybe they can't see the color red. Can I run in here? No, I'm too crouched over. I guess I'm crawling. I forgot that was there. <laughs> that is the first uh, fucking horrible zombie boy that we've seen. And we got a grenade. It's all kicking off. Yeah, now I've got a big gun. Fucking good luck, nerds. Are we good? Everybody's dead? I don't want to go in the water anymore. Why do these games love water? A sneak peek at a headcrab zombie. I mean, they were everywhere in the first one, but I guess that's like, if you notice that. <gasps> oh my god, they're back. Where the fuck am I? Where am I going? Hang on, stop eating me into the air. Uh, help. <laughs> Wait, is there a pipe? There is a pipe. Good. Okay, I need more oxygen. I need to catch my breath. You can see the little oxygen meter in the bottom left. Uh, 
up here. I gotta go convince someone to pay me to make software. Wish me luck. Good luck. If I turn myself around? No, this looks new. Man, I forgot how much of the early part of this game is just like fucking ratting around in warrens. A lot of tunnels and horrible little robot boys. Oh, fuck off! Another one of these fuckers as well that I didn't even see until it was too late. There we go. Give me more ammunition for the big gun. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Give me more ammunition for this. The submachine gun. Fuck off! Just keep coming through. I'm sure it'll work out eventually. How do I get in here? Uh... Surely I could climb this. Oh, fuck off. Fine. Leave. Bye. I feel like this will hurt. Ah! Ow! Ow! I'm getting cooked! Ah! Right, it's all going fine. <laughs> Let's switch back to the crowbar. Fuck you. Am I... Am I doing the right thing? <laughs> okay, here's more supplies. And another burning body. Yippee! Is this the right way to go? Can I, like, just hop? Just hop up? It's a little bit maze-like. Oh, don't make me go down into more fucking water. Oh, I'm on the other side now. It's all fine. Ooh! <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I feel like I should be using the pistol for this. <laughs> this is not the most efficient weapon at range. Fuck! Are they behind me? There's so many! Stop! And they're shooting as well, I think. Fucking hell! Oh god, it's going badly. Hang on, <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. And we're fine. For now. <laughs> it's not, uh, maybe not. <laughs> I'm out of run juice. Now we're fine. This is quite hectic, even though I, I remember bits and pieces. It's a little bit stressful. It's not nearly as stressful as Half-Life 1, though. This does feel noticeably... Oh, fuck off. <laughs> this does feel noticeably newer and more polished than Half-Life 1. Feels a bit more streamlined. Okay, I'm just gonna blow up the entire room, if that's okay. And then just take character practice. Oh my god! Okay, I think what happened there is a flaming barrel got yeeted at me from across the room. That's my first death! I'm surprised. And fuck you, in particular. There we go. Oh, there come the other boys. Okay, uh, maybe hide? Oh god, that hurt a lot! Oh god, run! Run, 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 there's still more. Okay, that, that got some of them, at least. <laughs> There's still a couple more. Lovely, that one worked. Sort of. <laughs> I want to at least get past this chapter so that we're not just kind of hanging out in the tunnels for next time I play this. 
Where the fuck do I go? Maybe up here? I, don't go down into the... Okay, don't fall. That's probably not where we want to be. <laughs> Let's go up instead. Ladders. Still hadn't quite worked out ladders. Ladders will kill you in this game. More than most other games will kill you ever. Where am I going? What am I doing? This is a puzzle. Is there a valve I meant to turn? Possibly. Is there like a little little lever full of full of boys? A little cubby hole that I need to fight my way through? Oh. Okay, so I need to raise the water and get through there. How does one raise the water? Do I just literally like beat this open? Hmm. That's metal. It's not going to be beaten open. It must be over there somewhere. Am I meant to jump across here? Oh, Jesus. Okay, I think I figured it out. <laughs> Up ladder on pipe, thank you. Again, it's been a long time since I played this. I don't remember a lot of the puzzles. Or even the story. I, like I said, I finished this once when I was about 12. So I'm shocked I remember any of it. Uh. Oh, I think I might remember something. I think there's, like, valves down there. This feels very Half-Life 1, this bit. <laughs> I don't know if I mean that positively. Uh don't see it here. Thank you. <laughs> Back up to full. Can I break this open? Where's a pipe I can interact with, game? Can you give me like a little friendly pipe? There it is. Come on, just fucking let me up. Just scrabble up here. Ugh. Just jump. Kill me. Actually kill me. Do I need to jump down onto this from this? Like, fucking leap. Oh, God! Okay, yes. <laughs> That's what happens. I'll probably swim up so you don't drown to death. I don't know how high this goes. Higher than you'd think is the answer. Oh, fuck off. You know what? You can't get me underwater, I bet. Can, I don't think you can swim. You're robots. Robots famously don't like swimming. Is there a swimming robot? Is that nightmare dystopia robot that Boston Dynamics made? Can that swim? Or if you pour a bucket of water on it, will it just die? Uh, I think I need to pr pry these up, by the way. <laughs> You know the one that gets sent into war zones now or whatever? Or they say war zones. The cops brought most of them. American cops own a lot of those. I think they're called spot minis. What the fuck was that? Did you just shunt me down? Pretty sure it's allowed to start international incidents by now. There's a little dog. It's called the spot mini. And it's like a little dog bot. And you can strap guns to it. <laughs> Basically, that's the entire gist of it. I think the co American cops and the IDF own almost all of them. And then it's like rich socialites, I think, bought some as well. Do I need to get all of these out? I assume I need to hop across. That'll be fine. Can I quick save? That's the first time I've saved as well. Whoop. There are fish ones as well and a snake robot. Oh! See, robots are inherently very cute. I think robots are very sweet, cute little babies, and I hate that what we have done to them. I hate that they can't just be like little orbs or like little boxes that look like bins, like in a Star Wars or a Doctor Who. We have to make them fucking evil and real. I don't like that at all. They can't just look like a friendly Dalek. I know the Daleks aren't friendly, but it can't just look like a little rolling bin that goes whip whip. It has to fucking attach a gun to it and put down rebellions. It would be nice if they were friends and not just nuke delivery, exactly. <laughs> oh, hello! Fuck off! 
Those are more annoying than the man hex because they blind you. At least the man hex allow you to see. Oh, fuck off! That wasn't an invitation. Again, my aim, surprisingly good, I would say, considering how shit I am at video games. Any more? No, just some boys. I'm just gonna straight fire in there. Oh, the aim on this. I have to right over his head. It should be hitting more consistently than it is, I feel. Okay, you're both dead, good. How small are nukes now? Can you, like, attach a nuke to one of those spot minis? Or, like, a regular, like, garden variety drone? Can you just, like, strap stuff to them now? I don't keep up with nuclear technology. <laughs> Fuck off! I should really be using a crowbar for that. <laughs> and not just on my gun. Fuck off. You could have a bomb as small as you wanted, it just means less payload. Eh, that's fine. So like a little nuclear grenade. You could you could put one of them in like the little claw hand, that freaky little claw hand that the spot mini has, and just teach it to lob it. That that might be funny, at least for a second. <laughs> and then it would get very unfunny. <laughs> Cause again, I think they look inherently quite sweet. It's just, you know. They're evil. <laughs> I mean, they're not evil. They're nothing. They're just like fucking countertops. They're nothing. The people buying them are evil. War crimes grenade. I mean, that's plenty of them, right? Where the fuck am I going, by the way? Hang on. <laughs> Was there like a turning I missed at some point? Like, I think I meant to go up here. Did I miss something? I meant to go up this ladder? Did I just miss a, a place I was meant to go? Oh, fuck off, ladders. You have to sort of leap. Oh, maybe down here, I understand. There we go. Oh, good, more slime. Are you a bad boy? No, you're a chair. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I thought you might have been a bad one. Oh no, it's nuclear slop. Is there a radiation thing in this game? Like a mechanic? I'm not really sure. Yep! <laughs> yes, there is. I got nuked. Hello. Oh god! Hey, you okay? You're Freeman, aren't you? Mm -hmm. We got word you were coming. You got here at a bad time. You should probably lock this door. Six, do you read? Dr. Freeman is on his way down river. Lend him the airboat and give him all the help you can. Repeat, Gordon Freeman has returned. It is critical he reaches... You have made a cult about me. You better get going now. That's creepy. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't want to be a cult leader. It's honestly, it sounds like a bit of work as well, which I don't need chair I can be a bad boy if I want. I read that as share initially. Somehow Freeman has returned. Don't ever compare this to that. <laughs> I'm fair. You know what? Maybe I would love that because I, I haven't seen it because I refuse. Oh good. Oh speaking of war crimes grenades, this is what they do in this game, right? <laughs> oh and they kept them burrowing. I didn't know that. I think in the lore here is that they just drop these on people they want to terrorize. <laughs> just as punishment. Make them into zombies. That'll fuck them up. I think I'm full on everything, so I don't need ammo. Oh, Christ. Fuck off! Can I hop up here? So standard colonialism. Yes. It's like the smallpox blankets of this of this game. Hello. I think they made them even more fucking horrible in this game. Like they were already kinda horrible, these fuckers. 
They're so much creepier in this one, even though they kept the same sound effects. Just the the addition of the new graphics and polygons really helped them. Uh, I'm gonna shoot that. <laughs> the ragdolling didn't help though. <laughs> Hi. Oh! You're less cute than the fat one. Fuck off. Also, I think these come from Zen, right? So, and the Combine I don't think come from Zen. I don't know where they come from. Maybe they do. So it implies that, like, I don't know, there's lore implications if we're getting nerdy. Like, did G-Men or the, the human military collaborate and sell these things to them? Did they just take the technology when they invaded? I think the lore is you combined a few dimensions at once. Yeah, if something fucky happened. <laughs> The border world was then, right? And it was like a dimensional thing. You're gonna wake up and eat me. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Stop, please. Oh, there's two of them. Ah! I forgot they throw stuff at you now. How many fucking bullets do you take? You are much hardier than the combine. There we go, lovely. <laughs> Hi. I think that was also, speaking of, like, being old and nerdy and pathetic, <laughs> I think for a little while, my text tone on one of my original phones, it's probably a Sony Ericsson phone, uh, the text tone was the head crab jumping at you noise. That <laughs> noise. Uh, don't shock me to death, thank you. Looked up lore and there's a video three hours long. It, I think Half-Life lore, because it's a bit like Dark Souls, in no way, but I'm gonna say it is. It's a bit like Dark Souls where it doesn't really feed you a lot of the lore while you're playing. It's all kind of hinted at. They, they rarely, I feel, in Half-Life, specifically tell you exactly what's going on, when it happened. You have to like look into things a bit more. And so it lends itself to insufferable nerd videos. Ow! Ah! Christ! Oh, I'm fucking irradiated! They're gonna jump at me in a second. Stop it. Fuck off. Fuck off! Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Are anyone alive? Fuck you, are. Okay, you, you appear dead. <laughs> Alex means there's also an altered timeline to worry about too now. <laughs> Is there? I don't know anything about the plotline of Alex. I should play it at some point. I have access to VR. But I just don't like VR very much, so I never bother. Fuck it, ignore them. We don't need them. Bye. What if Eli Vance was actually a werewolf? <laughs> See, it's hard to find the signs, but I've scoured through it. It's a, it's a little bit of a pet peeve I have with Dark Souls. I think Dark Souls tells its story in an interesting way, but not necessarily a good way. Um, I think it gets a lot of credit for being purposefully vague so they don't have to come up with some of the stuff themselves. I've been hoping you'd show up. Got this airboat all gassed up and ready to Half go. Half-Life's less vague. <laughs> it's a bit more mainstream. Tough, although Dark, Dark Souls now is too. Open, but drive hard and you'll make it. We have a you'll boat now. Station seven. What's Just that one irritating song? It's I'm in a boat, hard. motherfucker. Don't you ever forget. Climb on in. Fire her up. Give me alone. <laughs> How does she get here through all the radiation and zombies? I think she just lives here. Go she probably lives up in the rafters framing. here somewhere. Let me just quick save. Thank you. That is the quick save button, right? Quick F5. It's slightly stuttering, so yes. We're in a boat! Okay. <laughs> Bye. Thank you for the boat. This protects me from the toxic sludge. It's not splashing up in my mouth at all. Whee! Oh, this looks fucking horrible. This is like being in England. Fucking horrible sludgy wasteland. Uh, am I meant to go through here? I, again, I'm not sure. I remember this boat bit going on for a bit, but I can't remember where I go right now. 
Over here, probably. Yep. Maybe? That's where I'm meant to be? I probably need to raise this. Let me out for a second. Thank you. This is English Disneyland. I'm surprised they haven't opened up anything Disney-y in England. It's probably too small for them to recoup their costs, right? I feel like they rely on, like, millions and millions of people coming through every year. Ah! In order to make a profit at Disneyland. So maybe England's just simply too small. I do love this little boat, by the way. I like the little fan on the back. I think this is based on a real boat that exists, or a real type of boat. They have one in Paris. Yeah, but that's like access to the whole of Europe. Whereas you'd have to take like a boat and shit to get to the to the English one if you were in France, for instance. There we go, we got to a new chapter. Yippee. Oof. Love you. Uh, how do I get out of this? <laughs> there we go, it's the E button. I did it recently. There was Crinkly Bottom, the Mr. Bobby theme park. That can't be real, is it? Are you joking? Hang on. <laughs> Crinkly Bottom. Tell me that's not real and it's a joke. <laughs> Crinkly Bottom. Crinkly Bottom, also referred to as Blobbyland. This was fucking real? Crinkly Bottom, also popularly referred to as Blobbyland, was the operating title for a series of British... A series?! Of uh, operate theme parks operating in the 1990s, created by Noel Edmonds based on the fictional village of Crinkley Bottom, where Noel's house party was based. The parks operated based on the popularity of Mr. Blobby. That's tragic. <laughs> Way closer for English people to go to Paris than me to go to the closest one in Hong Kong or Japan. All of the parks eventually failed and were either closed or rebranded. Noel's House Party was an entertainment program in the 90s. What the fuck? Apparently he had to apologise for this. <laughs> Noel Edmonds just continually apologises for Mr. Blobby. It's funny to me that basically Mr. Blobby stopped because people started just openly being violent towards it. Abandoned remains of Crinkly Bottom. That's terrifying. Imagine coming across this in the fucking woods. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> Uh, the council sued Edmonds and Unique for failing to reach predicted targets on the ground of misrepresentation and negligence. The court found that the council had acted unlawfully during this handling of Crinkly Bottom and dismissed their claims. Edmonds won. The fiasco gained the name of Blobbygate. <laughs> wow. I thought Morecambe was famous for shrimps. Now it's notorious for fudge. What the fuck does that mean, Edmonds? <laughs> We wanted people investigated because they cheated the people of Morecambe out of something very significant. Who wouldn't want that? I thought Morecambe was famous for shrimps. Now it's notorious for fudge. What the fuck does that sentence mean? Defunctland episode when? <laughs> that's how I know about any theme perks. All right, well, that's horrible. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I would go there, yes. <laughs> right, Mr. Blobbyland exists. Who wants to go visit the abandoned remains of Crinkly Bottom with me? Oh, that would behead me, I think. Is this? Oh, it's Mr. G-Man! Hello! Oh, fuck, I'm in the water. Help me. This is probably very E. coli ridden. Why does he never say hello? Yeah, you're, you'll be safe there. You won't drift off. There's no mooring doesn't need to exist. <laughs> I know a spot. Takes day to abandoned crinkly bottom. <laughs> and a, cr a crinkly bottom does sound like a sort of gross name for like an aging twink. Oh! Forgot you through. <laughs> right, I'm going to switch to my bigger gun, by the way. Fuck you. Fantastic. Date disappointed. Oh, that crinkly bottom. <laughs> Station 12, come in. Station 12, do you read? Can I interact with this? I think I might be canonically mute. Maybe that's a... You know what? Maybe it's actually a commentary. Because I think it's canonically referenced that Gordon Freeman is essentially mute. And so everybody just sort of pro projects what they are onto him. 
So maybe that's why he's a good cult leader. Just like he doesn't speak, offer any opinion whatsoever on anything. So he's just a blank slate for people. All he does is hit things with a stick. And that's enough. <laughs> that's probably something they were going for. Let me show you the abandoned reins of my crinkly bottom. Uh. I'm going to take a big jump. I think that sounds fun. Whee! I love jumping into water. I love swimming and I love jumping off high things. And it's a combination of those two loves. Jumping off something very high. Probably not too high to be safe. Into some probably too shallow water. Is so good. I love it so much. That is my idea of a good time. Do you like being pushed thrown? Sometimes, yes. I think it's it's sometimes fun to be thrown into water especially, because that implies, at least to me, that implies consent. Being pushed can be a bit too annoying, especially if you've got stuff on you. But I have spent many evenings in my childhood just jumping off high rocks into pools. <laughs> like rock pools, basically. Big jump. No, throw, get out of the way. Uh, that says red X's, so I'm gonna go there. Oh, hello! Don't throw it at me! Oh, lovely. <laughs> That's nice, thank you. <laughs> ah, fucker! Help. Um, can I beat the shit out of this thing behind me? Where is it? Where the fuck do you go? Okay, I need to do something here, some sort of puzzle. <laughs> That's not even a common opinion. That's normal. Put, getting yeeted into a big pool of water is fun. That's a fun thing to do. Oh, I went up here and solved a puzzle with that. Oh! Jesus Christ! Don't right click! This happened in the first one as well. Fucking hell. You have grenade launcher attachments in these fucking guns. Right, let's go under here and raise up the ramp so I can jump it. Ow. I don't think I would be strong enough to pull this under. I don't think anyone would be. Isn't that how they kill Jaws? And this is an air barrel. It's gonna- it's, it's enough to lift up this fucking ramp. There we go. That should do it. Fuck off! Ah! Fuck right off! I hate you! Shut up! Shoot him. There. That hurt me, I think. Let's do a big jump. Let's back up and do this right. Less impressive than I think we were all expecting. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy roller coasters quite a lot, so this is kind of fun. Oh, what the fuck are you? You're like a big bug boy. I don't like you. <laughs> I'd like a gun on this. I think eventually that might happen. Oh god, just fucking run him over. You a Matthew Broderick. <laughs> just Broderick all the fuckers. Bye. Oh, Christ. Up here on the big ramp? No, that was not good enough! Don't do that! Don't turn it over! Handbrake turn. And go. <laughs> Up the big ramp. Now that's fun. Jesus Christ! Who's shooting me now? Fuck you, I'm gonna take out your supports. <laughs> it worked! I'm so happy. I like how destructive and fucking annoying they let you be in this game. Oh, loading. There we go. Good stuff. Ow, that one's not crumbly enough, apparently. Uh, this way? Sorry if this has been raised, but where are your hands? I believe I am controlling this... A bit like, you know how the, that chess guy, that chess master got uh, banned recently because he was apparently using his anal muscles to kind of communicate with somebody off camera. 
uh, who was feeding him answers in a competition. Like he apparently had vibrating like anal beads in, and he was con- he was contracting his uh, his rectum in order to like communicate back to them, and then they were sending vibrations to him to like indicate which moves he was meant to take. I don't think this was ever proven, but I, I imagine it's a bit like that. Fuck you. Bye. <laughs> Not said. I sort of tense to turn right. No, tends to accelerate, I guess. I don't know how you turn. I, I feel like I wouldn't have that much sort of complicated movement. Am I meant to go up here? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I think it's time to get out of the boat. Yeah, here we go. Oh, it's nice and quiet now. I assume I'll have to kill, I don't know, 100, 150 boys while I'm here. Oh, it's one of these fancy computers. We now have direct confirmation of a disruptor in our midst. One who has acquired an almost messianic reputation in the minds like of certain Lionel? citizens. His figure is synonymous with the darkest urges of instinct, ignorance, and decay. Some of the worst excesses of the Black Mesa incident have been laid directly at his feet. And yet, unsophisticated minds continue to imbue him with romantic power, giving him such dangerous poetic labels as the one free man, the opener of the way. I don't Let like what they've done all to me. citizens of the dangers of magical thinking. We have scarcely begun to climb from the dark pit of our species' evolution. Let us not slide backward into oblivion, just as we have finally begun to see the light. If you see this so-called free man, report him. Civic deeds do not go unrewarded, and contrarywise, complicity with his cause will not go unpunished. Be wise. Be safe. Be aware. So it has gone full-on cult. I don't like that. I think they didn't... Ex I know for a fact they did not expect me to come back. They were just looking for, like, a weird mess messiah figure. And now they're like, ah, oh, fuck, he's back. Let's, for God's sake, let's hope he doesn't start talking. Because he might say something fucked up. Oh, that's pleasant. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> what did they do to you? Ooh, grenades, lovely. How do I fire grenades? I'm assuming it's the G button, but I don't want to press it because it'll spook me. I hope Gordon doesn't have troubling tweets <laughs> saved up. Oh, I have to switch to grenades. Oh, it's an old game. Ah! Did that do anything? Nope. <laughs> well, a little bit, maybe. <laughs> Ooh, lots of grenades. I will. Fuck it. Let's use grenades for a bit. I wouldn't be surprised if the Gordon cult was started by the Combine. Maybe. Again, the lore is messy and intentionally vague. I think. Oh, Christ. What now? Oh, these pricks. Fuck off. Just quietly reload. There we go. Easy. What are you? Oh, is this more slurry? I never got my slurry. I'd like some slurry, please. I bet it tastes delicious. I imagine it tastes a bit like Soylent, which I've never actually had, but it looks similar. Uh, hi. Fuck off. Grenade. Grenade. Fuck me, the aim is so shit on this. I'm pointing right at him. Oh my god, don't use this gun at long range. Uh, go over to this thing. That's so much better, my god. I need something longer range. You didn't even use the machine gun. Oh god, I didn't even see you. That's not like your camouflage. 
Oh my god, I'm so hurt! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where are you? You're here. You're here. There we go. <laughs> sort of recovered. Sometimes you actually have to pay attention in video games. That's something they don't teach you. <laughs> oh, it's so nice, by the way, playing on normal difficulty. Knowing that I can just refill my health at these things. I don't even have to put the vibrating anal beads in to be accused of cheating at chess, so I do it anyway. That's a thing! Didn't the, like, World Chess Corporation, or Federation, or whatever you call it, didn't they, like, ban trans women for playing in women's chess tournaments? Which seems fucking insane! I mean, it all is, obviously, but, like... <laughs> that just seems like admitting that you think women are dumb. <laughs> in your weird little turf brain. <laughs> Oh, I can't. Ah, oh, fuck off. Doesn't work. Well, maybe just blow this up for now, just to placate me. Oh, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> oh, God. Well, that probably hasn't done good things. I, I, I anticipate some boys out here, by the way. Yep! <laughs> Bye! The grenade actually worked for once. Incredible. I never use grenades in video games. Ban all trans people from playing outside of assigned gender and strip titles from the people who did, which mostly included trans men. But the story tends to be focused on women. It's very bleak. <laughs> it's like even the chess nerds have gone weird. Oh, fuck off. Oh, God, you hurt so much. Okay, Jesus Christ. Uh, grenade over there. Grenade maybe like in the window, please. Okay, that got somebody, and then you as well. Fucking hell. Were the chess nerds ever not weird? That's fair. <laughs> hey, give me some health, please. That would be lovely. Any more health around? I feel like I'm using a lot of it. I'm burning through health. <laughs> Trying to do similar things in board games. It does sort of, uh... Like, they, everybody already knew it was bullshit when they were like, it's about fairness in sports. You don't give a fuck about fairness in sports. What's wrong with you? You've never mentioned this before now, you freaks. But it really throws that into stark relief in how stupid and meaningless it is. It's like, uh, and also chess and board games. What? Are you okay? No. <laughs> Our board gig term is gender segregated to begin with. Yes, there's also a conversation about that. <laughs> I feel like it, some of these things were gender segregated because, you know, in things like chess, and I'm not saying this is right or wrong, just why it is, uh, in chess, there was a thing where even though chess is not determined, like your success in chess is not determined by gender in any way, um, there were a shocking lack of, like, female grandmasters, for instance, female masters in chess, uh, because of sexism, right? And so they started up, like, female leagues in chess, and female leagues in board games and stuff like that to sort of encourage women to join. Which makes it even stupider to ban more minority groups from these practices. Oh, good. Lots of fire. Oh, my Christ. Okay, big old... Oh, God. <laughs> big old jump. <laughs> this is going real fucking horrible. Jesus Christ. I am so hurt. Why don't the pawns just unite against the ruling classes to force them to fight their wars? <laughs> <laughs> yes, there we go. I forgot to mention, with the banning trans people started because several women, cis and trans, came out to report sexism with chess and quoted examples. They ju it's basically just like, don't look at that, look over at this problem we made up. It's like how, um, 
as soon as things started to get even more fucky than usual in Irish politics, Leo Varadkar, our Prime Minister, went, have we all had a good think about those trends, by the way? <laughs> Nobody had given a fuck. <laughs> and it's like, hmm, I wonder what could have been spurring this on. Possibly all those scandals you're having. It's like, they don't care. It's all just distraction tactics. It's like when they, when, it, and it, depressingly, this is sort of changing now as the world gets worse. But it's like whenever they would do polls, like in Britain, and it's like, what are your feelings on trans people? And overwhelmingly, it was all like, I don't give a fuck. What are you talking about? <laughs> now I think it's starting to turn and become worse because of all of this fucking nightmare furore about it. <laughs> but like, I think people gen generally, by and large, don't give a fuck. Whether it, and That's also a thing. Like, you know, that can lead to a lot of ignorance and hate as well. Not giving a fuck. But at least it's not visceral hatred. But it's a, it's a tool that gets used to whip up hate and distract people from actual issues. The response is usually, well, actually, men are superior and unchanging. <laughs> it's fucky. I would say that's the perfect description of it. It's all fucky. Just quick save, by the way. Oh, good. I'm getting closed in again. I would like to dock here. Again, docking like a boat, not with a... We don't even really know. I said that Gordon Freeman strikes me as somebody who would be slanging hog, but we don't know. Big pussy ener energy isn't really a phrase in the same way, is it? Like this big dick energy. That Yes, my favorite gun. Hang on, forget what I was saying. Oh my God, if I could fucking aim with it. Jesus Christ! Hang on. Just take it. There we go. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> this is the dick. <laughs> it's just the magnum. <laughs> it's like I saw. I For some reason, Tumblr has decided to feed me in its algorithm lots and lots of Signalis fan art. Which I don't mind, because I thought Signalis was a fantastic game, and I will probably play it again at some point. Not on stream, but just for myself. Um, but a lot of it seems to resolve, revolve around the lesbian robots sort of holding guns as if they were penises. <laughs> and sort of reloading them in sexual ways. I was like, this is a very specific piece of fan art that's taken off. <laughs> Can I get out of any of these fucking doors? Help. Fuck off. You can go for body shots with the Magnum, so it should be easier, technically. There we go. Ow! That hurt a lot. Like, a lot? <laughs> Don't do that again. Keep an eye on the attack helicopter that's shooting you. Just run between boxes. That's too wide. You are too thick, Gordon. Bye. Oh, you fucking let loose a man heck! I didn't know they were in your pockets. Lower. Ow. Where the fuck am I? Where am I going? What am I doing? In here? Stop it. I saw a F-Life crowbar vibrator for sale online. Ah! Jesus Christ. A crowbar seems like a bad shape for that. It's too pointy. The prongs could be interesting, but it seems very pointy. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, that, no, that's aim. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off. Okay, reload a little bit. <laughs> that would be lovely. Switch to a crowbar for a second. You're taking too much damage. Okay, switch back to this. Fuck you. There we go. I think we're now safe for a second. Man, on, on normal difficulty, they do actually throw quite a lot of health at you, which is lovely. I'd Google that out of curiosity, but then I don't want to deal with the targeted heads that would arise. <laughs> that is an issue. I mean, it's becoming even worse. I've, it was always a thing on the internet. Well, not always. We forget there was a time before that, but like... Feels like targeting ads are becoming even worse than they used to be. And yet... Like, I mean that in terms of quantity and in quality. Fuck off. 
doing? Stop it! Stop shooting me! Where did you even fucking come from, you pricks? Very cool. <laughs> like, I will buy something and then get non-stop ads about it, despite having already bought it. Like, surely it, be, it should be things like that, where you Google it out of curiosity, and then they bombard you with ads as if, like, this will make them want to buy things and spend money at Amazon. But no, it's like, I'll buy a cat bed, and then it's like, clearly, you're obsessed with cat beds. Would you like 70 of them? And you're like, no, obviously not. I'm not fucking insane. <laughs> yes, there we go. It's something you'd only buy once. Oh, I see you're obsessed with fridges. Would you like 80 fridges in your house? Are you a meatpacking plant? Fuck off! More. They just keep appearing! Oh good, lovely. I'm, I'm sure, now that I bought the CPU, right here sitting on my desk, I'm sure I will get a hundred ads for CPUs in the next couple of months. Oh god, okay. <laughs> keep out of the line of sight. Good. And again. <laughs> Did you paste a bot message? <laughs> well, at least that's still working. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I feel like I have um, seen less bot messages in general on Twitch. So good good on them for do taking care of that a little bit. Because that was getting untenable. I win the Turing test. <laughs> am I in the same place as I was? Where the fuck am I? Christ, stop shooting! The fuck am I right now? As long as there's more things to kill, I'm probably going in the right direction. Jesus Christ! Ah! <laughs> okay, here we go. Fuck off! Fuck you to death! And now, don't. Dodge for a second. Don't want to get absolutely lit up. Fuck off. There we go. It's off. There we go. And now we're fine. <laughs> Good stuff. Now we can actually relax for a second. And I can get through there. There we go. And you know what? I think that's a great point to save. I should try to break Asimov's arms. Let's save here. New save. Save. You can't name them, unfortunately. And that will do it for this stream. Because, to be honest, I'm a little sleepy and my feet are beginning to hurt. So I'm going to quit here. Thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, don't save. I just did. <laughs> Let's all remember Crinkly Bottom for a second. Um, I will be live again on Monday with a slightly better computer. The AMD Ryzen 5 5600X will be in this machine, which is going to be great, I assume. <laughs> Assuming it all works. This does have thermal paste and shit in it, doesn't it? We'll assume it does. It'll be fine. I'll be live again on Monday playing something. Oh, actually, you know what will probably be on Monday? I'm, I'm, think I'm going to lay out a schedule right now. And it might change. I will finalise this on Sunday, as I usually do, and tweet it out and put it in the Discord. But I think Emma is free on Monday, so we will play Dead Space. Dead Space again. Then Tuesday, we will play KOTOR, because I love KOTOR. Wednesday, I don't know. I want to go back to doing some of the kind of special streams, like Which is Least Bad on Wednesday, but I don't have anything planned. So it'll either be one of those, or... Uh, Half-Life, or maybe just KOTOR. Basically, it'll just be Dead Space and then KOTOR and Half-Life all next week. So, that'll be fun. Vague schedule, I know, but it's something. I'll, like I said, I'll lay it out properly eventually. Show us your tips! <laughs> Show us your tips! Show them! Let's raid somebody. Let's go slash raid. Who's live? This person's live. Playing one of my favourite games. So, there we go. Have a good one. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I will see everybody on Monday, and I'll be around in my, uh, my in my Discord and maybe on Twitter, although I use that a lot less than I used to. So, bye. <laughs> see ya.